30 million developers are choosing between Olama and DeepSeek right now, but almost nobody understands this comparison. These aren't competitors fighting for the same space. I spent three days investigating both, and what I discovered changes everything about running AI models. The basics everyone's getting wrong. People treat this like iPhone versus Android. That's not what's happening. Olama is an open source platform that runs large language models locally on your hardware. Think Docker for AI models. You download it to your Mac, Windows, or Linux machine, and suddenly you can run models without touching the cloud. DeepSeek is something entirely different. It's a Chinese AI company founded in 2023 that develops actual language models. They created DeepSeek V3 and the reasoning-focused R1 model. The company shocked the industry by training V3 for just $6 million, when GPT-4 reportedly cost over $100 million. They release models as open source under the MIT license, but also offer a cloud API service where you pay per token. Here's where it gets interesting. The confusion stems from one fact nobody mentions. You can actually use Olama to run DeepSeek's models locally on your computer. Go to Olama's library, type DeepSeek, and you'll find multiple versions ready to download. The question isn't which one to choose, it's understanding what each actually does. But let me tell you. Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something about what this means for your workflow. If you use DeepSeek's cloud API, you're paying 55 cents per million input tokens. Your data goes to their servers. You need internet. But you get faster inference and zero hardware requirements. If you download DeepSeek through Olama and run locally, you pay zero per query after download. Your data never leaves your machine. You work offline. But you need at least 8 gigabytes of RAM and decent processing power. The verdict? They're not competitors. They're complementary tools. DeepSeek creates the models. Olama provides one way to run them. Use DeepSeek's API for cloud convenience or Olama to run DeepSeek locally for privacy and cost control. The choice isn't which platform wins, it's which deployment method fits your situation. If this cleared up the confusion plaguing every AI forum, perfect. I investigate what these tools actually do versus what marketing suggests. Hey, Mark here. <clears throat> okay, look. I spend a lot of time investigating these products, and I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might roast next week. That would be awkward. If this review helped you out or saved you from wasting money, here's how you can support what we're doing. First, I've put the link to this product in the description. If you buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second, there's another link down there that goes straight to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it and use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or restocking on toilet paper. A tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. It's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. All right, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. <laughs>